Friends of Ralph Hendry and Kathy Brandle hope their killers have been caught. Because Ralph and Kathy's bodies have not been found and there's probably a good chance they'll never be found, it'll be the only closure that they will be able to get. Back behind bars at His Majesty's prison in Granada, the three suspects made their first appearance in court this week. The trio charged with capital murder, including kidnapping and robbery. Officials believe the trio escaped from prison and hijacked Ralph and Kathy's catamaran, throwing them overboard in the process. Traveling between Grenada and St. Vincent, they dispose of the occupants. New gruesome details painting a horrific picture for those closest to the couple. You know, not a night goes by, I don't wake up and think about it, and it's just, um, it's just really, really difficult. Rhode Island residents Tammy and Pete Sisson are avid sailors themselves. Last embarking on a trip to Antigua with the duo in November, they say their friends always took precautions, researching safe areas to explore. It just doesn't happen, and we don't think about that because, you know, we're we're going to safe places. It's heartbreaking because I feel like a sense of our security now has been taken away. The couple had actually invited the two to visit them on their Granada voyage, but obligations here in Rhode Island prevented them from going. Oh, yeah, we were we always plan to get together whenever we were around each other. You know, they came up to Newport every year. We always got together and we, yeah, there are plans. The three suspects are expected to return to court March 27th for trial. In the meantime, the Sissons say they hope to keep Ralph and Kathy's memory alive. Loving, caring, generous, wonderful people, friends. I mean, they there wasn't anybody that met them that wasn't their friend. It's a big loss, I'll tell you. It just, uh, it leaves a hole in your heart. Now, Pete and Tammy say moving forward on their own trips, they're going to be taking greater precautions, especially when traveling outside of the country. Live in studio tonight, Aaron Coogan, NBC 10 News.